up guys I just wanted to show my finalized settings for my multi-wee pro flight controller on my x580 quadcopter um, I got return to home working nearly perfectly uh, position hold works almost perfectly once again and this is with the cheap GPS that comes with it the MTK or whatever um, I'm just letting it sit right here so you can see the settings it works perfectly on the X580 quad with the um, 8x4.5 props and the Turner G1000 KV Aero Drive uh, 2830 uh, 11s. And it's got quite a bit of weight on it as well, the GoPro um, 3300 milliamp battery. But this, these are working perfectly. Um, navigation rate, I put 1.6. Uh, 0 0.20. I don't think that was changed from my last uh, update, but what I did was up the mag quite a bit, up to 5, and I enabled mag. If you go to um, RC control settings, you'll see on my three position switch, which is auxiliary 2, I uh, arm my motors with position 2, and I also have auto level all the time running. Uh, so, uh, so for normal flight, I use auto level, mag, and arm the motors, of course. On auxiliary one, I have altitude hold set up, so when I, if I just flip uh, my other switch, it'll hold the altitude. Uh, and for position, the third position on my um, three position switch on my DX7S is the return to home. And it's exactly the same as my auto level and normal flying mode that I use which is level, mag, and arm, but I added return to home. So it's level, mag, arm, return to home. And from my testing so far, it's flawless. It'll, it's really funny to watch it um, sit in midair and then turn around to face you and then come on in. It won't land itself. Um, I don't think, I don't think the GPS module or the firmware is capable of doing that I'm not sure uh, but it will turn around come to the position not a, not exactly accurate but not too far off from where you took off from and then it'll turn back around to face the way it started and kinda just sit around the area I might circle around it a little bit um, really cool it's finally working really well and uh, one of the parameters now the, the thing that got that really working well was just getting that navigation rate right in the mag is important. Turn the mag up a little. Uh, position hold rate works almost flawlessly. It does, it really stays within like eight feet. I have a couple of videos showing like how how accurate it is. Um, position hold for the P, just the position hold part here for the P, 0 0.20 and then the I zero. You don't want to have two sets of eyes here it can either has to be on position hold or position hold rate for the eye. Um, I brought the eye down to 0 0.11 and that really I mean it really works well right there. Um, the altitude itself, the altitude hold uh, 1.9, 0 0.017 and then I bumped that up to 9 and I bumped the eye up uh, from 0 0.016 to 0 0.017 and it's, it's really almost perfect. So, hope you guys find this useful. I tried to keep the settings up here for a while so you can just kind of put the exact same thing in and see how it works out for you. Um, I'm not responsible for any kind of damages or if you turn return to home on and it comes and hits you in the face or something or flies into somebody's house. So, just wanted to add that in there. Alright guys, thanks for watching the video and I hope, um, you know, find some of this stuff useful and plug these in and see how it does for you.